Hello everyone and welcome to this week's meal prep video. This week is not extremely busy so I don't need to meal prep too many items because the kids are out of school. If you're new here I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have my name at the bottom of the screen and we also have a Facebook page All Things Keto with Christy and that will be in the description box below. Make sure you check out my easy keto recipe playlist for all of the recipes you just saw. I'm going to be making a breakfast item for this week because the kids are out of school. These are basically just like little egg muffins. So you can tell there is nothing going on here. I have salt, eggs, bacon, heavy whipping cream, and cheese. You can add any other seasonings or spices you want, any more meats, veggies, whatever you want to throw in here. You know I'm queen of the versatile recipe. But this is all I'm making because I want to keep the kids happy this week. Don't want to, you know, make it too extravagant, something they won't eat. So here is how I'm going to throw these together. We're going to start off in a medium sized bowl with six eggs. I'm going to go ahead and whisk those together so that I break up the yolks. Next, I'm going to add in one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. You can go ahead and add your spices now. Most people would add black pepper to this. I'm adding some pink Himalayan salt. I'm not a huge black pepper fan, but you can add oregano, parsley, anything that you like. Now I'm just going to whisk this together. Next step is adding in cheese that you're going to want to add in three fourths cup. I'm just using the shredded Colby Jack. We shred our cheese every week at the beginning of the week so that we have it. Just going to go ahead and add three fourths cups, but you can use whichever cheese you prefer. Now I'm going to add in my meat of choice this time. I'm going to be adding in three fourths cup bacon, but you can add in sausage. You can add in chopped up veggies. You can go with three fourths to one cup of this combination. I've noticed that in my previous experience, anything more than that, and it's just too much. So go with three fourths to one cup of bacon, sausage, ham, chopped up veggies, whatever you want. I'm going with bacon this time because we still have quite a bit of this left. I picked it up at Sam's and we've not used as much and I want to get it gone. I try to use an entire one of these within a month so it doesn't go bad. Now I'm just going to go ahead and whisk that all together until well combined. Okay, this mixture is going to make 10 regular size muffins. I'm getting ready to do something here that's going to blow your mind. I have a baking sheet. On that baking sheet, I have my silicone muffin pan. I'll have these linked below for you because I love these. If you've not tried silicone, you need to. So, I take these and then, I know this sounds redundant, I add my silicone cupcake liners to it. And the reason I do that is it makes these more portable. You're gonna need about 10. In the past, I've made 10 out of these. So we will see what happens today. And then once you get them lined, you can go ahead and spray these with a cooking spray. Well, let me see what I got up here. I am going to be using just regular coconut oil that I have. And that just makes it easier for your egg mixture to come out of these cups. Again, this makes these extremely portable. If you have to go to work in the mornings, this is perfect. Now I'm just going to stir up my mixture again because you know how your meats or your heavy veggies and things that sink to the bottom. Mix all that up again to incorporate it. And then we're going to ladle these out until we get an even proportion. And I got my little handy dandy silicone ladle at Dollar Tree. They have tons of little um, silicone things in right now. They have in the spatula, they have in the um, ladle. So make sure you check those out. I love those. Now, once I have these equally proportioned into 10 separate cups, I'm going to take just a little bit of cheese and sprinkle on top because seriously, cheese is cheese. And I like that nice little crispy crust it puts on the top. Okay, oven preheated at 350. 
We're gonna put these in for 15 to 20 minutes. Go ahead and slide them to the center. Close it up. Winner wishes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check on these. Oh, let's see. They are not completely set up yet. I'm just gonna rotate them and put them back in here for about another five minutes. Okay, it's been exactly 20 minutes and these are set now. I did insert a little cake toothpick into them. I think it's Pampered Chef. I got it forever ago to make sure that it came out clean. These are completely done. I'm going to go ahead and let these cool completely. You can store them in the refrigerator for several days. I do just put these in an airtight container so that they stay fresh. You can see, I think I probably put more in this one than in this one. Come on, nobody's perfect. I could have measured them out, but I didn't. This is good enough for us. And that's it. I'll just put the lid on these. These reheat. Amazing. They taste just as good as when you first made them. You'll be able to use these all week. It's definitely a go-to breakfast item for us. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I am obsessed with puddings and mousse and things like that. I'm going to be making one that I've not shown on my channel before, and this is another one that I got off the Perfect Keto website. So what you'll need is berries of choice. Berries are lower in carbs, so I'm picking strawberries. You can go with strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, but today, strawberries. I've got chia seeds, Perfect Keto vanilla collagen, and almond milk. And I am using the unsweetened almond milk. I'm going to be adding the first ingredients to my magic bullet. I'm going to be going in with my almond milk. This is a three-fourths cup. Next, we're going to add in one-fourth cup of your berries. Then your perfect keto collagen. I'm going in with one scoop of vanilla, but if you're using strawberries or raspberries, a scoop of chocolate would be delish in this. But I'm just going to go with the vanilla today. Put the lid on it and we're going to blend all that up. Last ingredient is your chia seeds and it calls for two tablespoons and just stir that up. Now this is already pretty sweet, but you know I add this to everything. This is the Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops and this one is the Vanilla Cream. I mean, come on, strawberries and vanilla. So I just put a few drops of that in there to make it a little sweeter and mix that up. This is technically considered one serving, but I like to divide it up into some little containers that I have. So just when I need a quick snack or something sweet, I can grab one of those and I won't have to worry about a ton of carbs and calories. So I've just portioned this up into three little containers. These are the ones that I pick up at Walmart. I'll just put the lids on these and then I'll store these in the refrigerator for about four or five hours or overnight before I eat one, but this is a perfect little snack if you need something sweet. I'm gonna be meal prepping today some of these Zatarain's sausage kielbasas that we picked up at Sam's. I'll have that Sam's haul link for you guys if you wanna check it out. These are already fully cooked, and I wanna go ahead and use them up. These are rather spicy, just so you know, but I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. I'll probably end up cutting them in half, I'm not sure, because this one is two servings. So if I go ahead and cut them, they're already ready. So I went ahead and cut them up and I'm just going to place them in my air fryer. Then I can put them on for probably 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be able to eat these throughout the week as we need them. So I'm just gonna put these in. I'm gonna leave them on 350. You know what? I think I'll just leave them on 15 minutes and hit start and then I can come back and check them. Okay, I went ahead and pulled these out. I left them in 13 minutes and they look like they're completely done to me. I will end up storing these in a glass container with a lid in the refrigerator. We can just pull these out as we need them throughout the week. And that's it.
I'm gonna be melting down Chris some keto bricks. I haven't been eating these lately, but he really does depend on these to get his fat in throughout the day, especially when he's on the road. These are a great way because he doesn't cook as much. Actually, he does cook. He cooks everything in the air fryer. But still, these are like his favorite way to get in fat. I'm gonna be melting down a mocha cream. His favorite is the peanut butter, and we've not tried the pumpkin pie, and I'm excited about this one. A subscriber, Echo, sent this to me. Thank you so much, sweetie. Can't wait to try it. Gonna go ahead and melt these down. I've showed this before in the past, so I'm gonna speed through this, but I don't have an affiliate link. I don't have a discount code or anything. Chris just really enjoys these. I'm gonna start out with the peanut butter, and I just put this on a piece of wax or parchment paper. That way I don't miss any of the crumbles. You can eat these as solid bricks, but I like them better in little bite-sized pieces. So I'm just gonna cut it in half, and then I'll chop those pieces into smaller pieces. See how it crumbles up some? It's just easier if you go ahead and cut it up. Now I'm just gonna put my pieces in this microwave safe bowl. I picked this one up at Dollar Tree. I love these. I like the fact that it's got these rounded corners. So in a second, that's gonna come in really handy. So now I'm just gonna put all that in my microwave safe container and I'm going to microwave this for about 45 to 50 seconds till it's melted. When it comes out of the microwave, I just stirred up with one of the silicone spatulas. I like to use those because when I convert it over here, I'm gonna be able to get every last drop. So just stir that up until everything is melted. I'm gonna be pouring the mixture into one of my silicone muffin liners. These are the ones that are for the minis like your little mini cupcakes or anything. These come in a pack of a big one, a small one, and the little cupcake liners. I love this. If you've not used silicone yet, I know I rave about it all the time you need to. It's just amazing. So I'll have it again, like I think I already said, link below. So now after I've mixed this up and got everything melted, all you gotta do is just scrape it down. So you don't wanna miss a drop. And then I just start filling up my little cups. And this will make, one bar will make eight little teeny pucks. There's gonna be 125 calories in each, approximately. And it'll have about 11 grams of fat or so each. And your carb count on this is minute. It's always less than one, I'm pretty sure. So just equal these out so that they all have around the same amount. And then all you have to do is repeat that process. And this one is the pumpkin pie. If you ate the entire thing, I'll go ahead and tell you this because a lot of people ask. This is a thousand calories, 92 grams of fat, 14 total carbs with six dietary fiber and 31 grams of protein. Oh, this one has like little seeds in it. Oh my gosh, are those pumpkin seeds? Wow. I'm excited. I love all things pumpkin flavored. I didn't even bother washing the bowl out because you can see there's really not that much left in it. And then I'm just going to take it, dump it in and microwave. Fresh out of the microwave, stir it up till it all melts. You don't want to leave it in too long because I'm afraid it'll burn or scorch it. So 55 minutes has always been a great time for me. And then as you mix it up, everything else just goes ahead and melts up if there's any big chunks left. First thing I'm noticing about the pumpkin pie one, it is a much thicker consistency than the others. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the mocha. I think these are supposed to be like shelf stable for up to a year. I'm not really sure. They don't make it that long at my house. After you have these melted down, you wanna put them in your freezer till they solidify. That usually takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. It just depends. 
What you doing, buddy? <laughs> you see our big doorstop over here? It looks like a big potato, but it's a rock, I promise. Okay, these have been in 30 minutes now. Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely gonna pop out really simple. Okay, all it took was 30 minutes. Look, pops right out of these silicone molds. I highly recommend them. I'm gonna store them in these containers. Again, another Dollar Tree find. They just twist off on either side, joined by the middle. And then I store these in the fridge only because we like our things like this cold. So I'm gonna put all of the peanut butter in one. Then I'll pop out the mocha and put them in the other half of the container. And then just connect them by the middles and you can either store these in a drawer in your refrigerator like I do, or you can stand them up so they take up less space. Then I'm gonna pop out these last ones. This one, this one is a pumpkin. I'm excited to try these. That's all I have for today's meal prep video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great week. Bye.